Hi everyone, welcome to English with Aga. In this video, I want to talk to you about 10 different ways in which you can use would in English. There's also a practice exercise at the end, so make sure you keep watching. Before we start, subscribe to my channel and get your free English grammar booklet from the video description. Okay, let's get started. The first one is quite obvious. You probably already know this, but let's include it anyway. The second conditional in English. If I had a car, I would drive to the countryside. So this is the second conditional. I'm talking about a hypothetical situation, not something that's real. I'm just imagining something happening in theory. If I had a car, but I don't have a car. So in theory, if I had a car, I would go to the countryside. So we use would to talk about hypothetical situations. So let's just quickly describe a sentence in the second conditional. The condition, if I had a car, is in the past simple tense. The second part of the sentence is would and the basic form of the verb. So would drive. If I had a car, I would drive to the countryside. If you had told me you're going to the cinema, I would have gone with you. So that's the third conditional. It's a hypothetical situation in the past. So you didn't tell me you're going to the cinema, so I didn't go with you. But if you had told me in theory, then I would have gone with you. So we use would in the third conditional to talk about hypothetical situations in the past, something that didn't happen. And let's quickly describe how to make a sentence using the third conditional. So first you need the condition, if you had told me, and that's the past perfect tense. So we need had and the past participle, if you had told me. The second part of the sentence has would, have and the past participle. So I would have come with you. The third one is to make a polite request in English. Would you help me with this? Would you help me? This is just another way of saying, could you help me? I am making a polite request. I am asking you for help politely. So you can use would you or could you and they mean the same thing. Another way to use would is to express an opinion using phrases such as I would imagine. Peter lives in Madrid. I would imagine he speaks Spanish. So I would imagine is a very useful phrase that you can use to express an opinion. And it's an opinion about something that seems very logical to you. Because he lives in Spain, I really think that he speaks Spanish. I would imagine he speaks Spanish. It's my opinion and I have this opinion because it seems logical. The next one is to talk about habits in the past. Things that you did in the past but you don't do them anymore. So would in this example is very similar to used to. I used to walk to school when I was a child but now I'm an adult so this is not true anymore. You can also say I would walk to school when I was a child and they mean the same thing. So when you're talking about something that was a habit in the past, you can use would. Here's another example. When I worked as a teacher, I would get a bus every day. So this is something I did as a habit in the past, but I don't do it anymore because now I drive. There is a difference between used to and would, and there are certain situations in which you can't use would. But if you want to know more about this, make sure you watch the video 
I linked in the video description. It has a lot of information about used to and would and the difference between them. The next one is the phrase, would you like? This is just a simple phrase to ask somebody whether they want something politely. Would you like a cup of tea? It means, do you want a cup of tea? But it's a polite way to ask this question. Would you like to go shopping next week? Do you want to go shopping? Again, it's a polite way to ask this question. The next one is a bit complicated because it's about reported speech. So this is something we do when we want to say what somebody else told us. So without quoting directly. So look at this example. Sarah said, I will help you with your homework. This is a direct quote. I am saying exactly what Sarah said to me. I am quoting her. I will help you with your homework. But I can also say this differently using reported speech without quoting directly. So I can say, Sarah said she would help me with my homework. So now I am not using a direct quote. I am using reported speech and in reported speech we need to change will to would. So she told me she would help me. The next one is to talk about willingness in the past. So my friend told me she had a present for me. It was a surprise but she wouldn't tell me what it was. She wouldn't tell me means she really didn't want to tell me. She wasn't willing to tell me. Here's another example. The teacher kept asking her students to be quiet, but they wouldn't listen. It means they didn't want to listen. They weren't willing to listen to the teacher. And another one. I asked my sister to lend me her laptop many times, but she wouldn't do it. It means she really didn't want to do it. The next one is the very common phrase, would rather. It's to talk about preferences, what you prefer. My friend wants to go to the seaside, but I would rather go to the mountains. So you can use would rather to talk about something that you prefer. My friends want to go out for ice cream tomorrow, but I would rather go out for lunch. This is my preference. I prefer to go out for lunch. I would rather is often shortened to I'd rather. So you can say I'd rather go out for lunch. And the final one is to talk about wishes. Something you want to happen. I wish you would stop shouting at me right now. It's my wish. I want you to stop shouting. I wish you would stop making a mess all the time. Again, it's my wish. I wish you would stop. This is slightly different to the structure you're normally taught when after wish we have the past simple. But it's also correct and very common in spoken English. Now, let's do a practice exercise. Fill in the gaps. If I lived in Spain, I in Barcelona. What goes in the gap? You can say, if I lived in Spain, I would live in Barcelona. If you had told me you're going to the gym, I with you. I would have gone with you. It's the third conditional. So you didn't tell me and so I didn't go with you. My friends want to play football tomorrow, but I play basketball. I would rather play basketball. That's my preference. That's what I prefer to do. With this, yes, no problem, I can help you. Would you help me with this? It's just another way of saying, could you help me? 
When I was younger, I to school every day. I would walk to school every day. How many did you get right? Let me know in the comments and don't forget to subscribe and get your free English grammar booklet from the video description and I'll see you next time. Bye!